150 Macy stores to close. Gosh, man, never saw that one coming. Over, over the next three years. <laughs> over the next three years. But, I mean, they made it longer than JCPenney's, Robinson's May, uh, Sears. Sears. Who else was on that? Uh, well, I don't know. You, you got well, from that era. I think they might be the last. Uh, when was the last time you went, last time I went to a Macy's was to walk through it to get into the rest of the mall. <laughs> I would only go there for samples of cologne to check out what I wanted to buy. I literally walked through it because the mall we were at was in like Birmingham, Alabama and the Macy's was attached on the outside. And the only way to get into the entire mall was to walk through all the department stores. Which is a sign of things to come, right? Like you got the same thing happening. Gap, Old Navy, Marshalls. Um, yeah. I mean, North, what's what's North, going on with Marshalls? Marshalls. Well, Marshalls just phased out a long time ago. You're tripping, dude. I go to Marshalls all the time. Bruh, it, Marshalls it, it, is under the brand with their discount brand, right? At Home so, Goods. Yeah. You know. That's right. TJ Maxx. They got Sierra they, Trading. They, they post, got brought into TJ that. TJ Maxx. Yeah. I mean, those, those brands. They got are life support. But I would say, but okay, fair enough. I, I stand corrected on that one. I, I give you that. I'll be hating on Marshalls. My wife will be hot if they get rid of Marshalls. <laughs> but but the point the point though is, is like you could see this coming from a mile away, but Business Insider put out an article and it says after years of sluggish sales performance, Macy's is planning a drastic cut to its store fleet in order to concentrate on better performing locations. Parentheses for now. Uh, right. <laughs> about 150 underperforming stores are on the chopping block for the next three years. It's 50 a year. Ooh, the company announced Tuesday in its fourth quarter earnings release. The plan is to start with about 50 locations during this fiscal year, of course. Macy's has yet to specify exactly which locations will be impacted. The move follows cuts of 2,350 jobs and closures of five stores early this year. And the number is a stark increase from the single-digit closures Macy's has announced in recent years. Well, CEO had this to say, We are making the necessary moves to reinvigorate relationships with our customers through improved shopping experiences. Relevant assortments and compelling value. That's from CEO Tony Spring. I won't read the rest of that, but yeah, man. those stores are huge. Fifty thousand square feet, probably. Think about that. Yeah, I mean, and just irrelevant clothing and content. You know, at the end of the day. Well, and and just you know, clothing and brand like clothing and apparel. Just apparel is just in a different. It's. An, Consumers don't have the same outlook on it the way we once did. It's not the same kind of thing. Unless you go boutique, like you can go boutique and just like create a dope experience that people come from all over for. But I yeah, think- Yeah, I feel like just like content has gone niche, so is clothing. Like, I, like right now, yeah. shout out, I'm wearing built apparel, built shirt, built over jacket. I'm not sponsored by them, but it built, if you're hearing this, uh, we would love to be sponsored by you. <laughs> But um, that's all I really wear because it's what fits me. And I'll occasionally go to Marshall's or something like that and find something on the discount rack. Yep. But at the end of the day, I buy this clothing because it, it fits my build. I know I'm going to like it. And, it. and the quality is really good too. Yep. So the whole idea of going to the department store, just browsing around to try to find something, th- those days are gone. You know what I would do? I would literally, if I was revamping Macy's, if I was like, absolutely, we're going to keep this thing going. I'm buying up small spaces. I'm decreasing, I'm either decreasing my catalog, maybe I'll leave my whole catalog online, but I'm going to take the dopest brands, designers, and people we can feature within our store, bring their clothing, their stuff into a small boutique experience, um, and then make the dopest online platform ever for shop. And, and maybe bring, bring in a custom component, like yeah. what Bonobos did. Bonobos started online, and then they started opening little shops where you can go and get your measurements, they plug you into yeah. the computer, and then you can order online forever. Right. Yeah, that'd be sweet. Right. Yeah. There's, there's a way to do it. And, and, for, and you also, yeah, different conversation, but uh, nonetheless, if you're one of those people who are in still within this organization, I'm not telling you what to do, but you just lost 2,350 jobs in the same company. Um, so the clock is ticking, Yeah, it seems. And so you have a responsibility to do what you got to do. Maybe you should take this idea and pitch it to them and that might bring a lifeline. Or maybe you should go to clearlyacquired.com and go look to buy a business or something. Boom. <laughs> Definitely should do that. <laughs> so nonetheless, uh, Macy's, we appreciate you being one of the last of the Mohicans. <laughs> and uh, keep doing your thing while you can, but don't, don't be that big dinosaur that's resistant to change because it ain't going to work out well. 